questions about the level of involvement by some members of the RUC and the UDR in 120 murders carried out by loyalists in the 1970s. The killings documented in the book include bombings in Dublin and Monaghan, as well as deaths in what became known as the Murder Triangle of Armagh and Tyrone. We're walking down a country road near the village of Moy, north of Armagh City. For Denise Mullen, the family home at the end of this lane is where her life changed forever 38 years ago. Gunmen came and murdered her father, Dennis, who worked in the ambulance services. They also tried to kill her mother, Olive, who survived and at her husband's funeral had Denise in her arms. Two men came across the field. One um, remained in a vehicle and um, they opened fire on both my mother and father. My um, father was killed um, um, with a hail of 17 bullets and 13 were fired at my mother. From July 1972 to the end of 1978, over 120 people, the vast majority of them unconnected to Republican organisations, were killed by loyalists. Most of the completely innocent victims were in counties Tyrone and Armagh, but over 30 died south of the border in bombings and attacks carried out in Dublin, Monaghan and Dundalk. A new book, Lethal Allies, details the role that members of the OUC, Full Time and Reserve and the UDR had in those murders. None of the people whose deaths we have been researching were involved in any way politically other than six people we think were involved with the SDLP. None of the others had any political or paramilitary links. For years, the Pat Finucan Centre, where Anne Cadwallader works, has been compiling evidence on the collusion allegations. What's new about her book is it includes investigations of several of the murders, carried out by a unit of the Police Service of Northern Ireland, the Historical Inquiries team, and published for the first time. The difference in this book is that we do have supporting evidence, incontrovertible evidence, direct from RUC files, that RUC officers and UDR men, as individuals and collectively, colluded in many of the deaths of these 120 people. The HET report flagged up that the perpetrators of the crime went under the banner of the UVF, but in fact um, 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 four of them have um, security force ties. So for us, we need accountability as to why that came about. Three years ago, David Cameron apologised for the actions of British soldiers in Derry on Bloody Sunday. This book will raise the issue of what was done elsewhere by the forces of law and order early in the Troubles. Unionists may say it's a further example of how nationalist grievances are to the fore again, while they must share power with former paramilitaries at Stormont. This new controversy is one more example of what remains not far below the surface than the swamp that is Northern Ireland's past. Tommy Gorman, RTE News, Belfast. And there we take a break, but still to come.